The thinkers, the artists, the scientists, the inventors stood alone against the men of their time. Every new thought was opposed, every new invention was denounced. But the men of unborrowed vision went ahead. They fought, they suffered, and they paid, but they won. No creator was prompted by a desire to please his brothers. His brothers hated the gift he offered. His truth was his only motive. His work was his only goal. The creation which gave form to his truth. He held his truth above all things and against all men. He went ahead whether others agreed with him or not, with his integrity as his only banner. When Allah spoke of riba in the Quran, he was speaking about lending money on interest. And we have explained why he has prohibited it. If you allow money to be lent on interest, then the rich will remain permanently rich and keep on growing richer. And the poor will be imprisoned in permanent poverty and grow constantly poorer. And if the, the, the one who wants to rule the world can get the rich on his side, then he will use the rich to control the poor, to control the world. Remember Live Aid in 1985, that symbol of concern and generosity? Did you know that during that year, the hungriest countries in Africa gave twice as much money to us in the developed world as we gave to them? There was another famine last year. Perhaps you were one of those who took part in Red Nose Day. Did you know that before that day was over, the equivalent of all the money that Comic Relief had raised in Britain, about 12 million pounds, had come back to the rich countries? For every day this amount is given by the poorest to the rich has interest payments on loans that most of them never asked for or knew existed. In other words, contrary to a myth long popular in the West, it's been the poor of the world who finance the rich, not the other way around. Congress tells the Treasury Department the Fed will loan us a billion dollars, print a billion dollars in U.S. Treasury bonds. So for a thousand dollars, they print a billion dollars of bills, of bonds. Those bonds are given to the Federal Reserve, a billion dollars. Now the Federal Reserve in bonds plus interest. The Federal Reserve then gives the bonds to the government to pay its bills. But watch me, because you're not thinking. The government needed a billion dollars. They borrowed a billion dollars. But the Federal Reserve said, we'll loan you the billion dollars plus interest. But it only prints the billion dollars. So the interest payments are never created and put into the system. So how is the government ever going to pay them back?
you don't think that it's what the national debt is? is the national debt that means measures the, the wealth. The national debt, but we have to. The, the wealth, the wealth here we are. The larger the, the national, national debt, debt the, the wealth. It's an indication of the wealth of the country. You're right. So the more you owe, the more you're worth. Um, I'll say it slowly, okay? Uh, that but here. Can you explain to um, the viewers that and no, and look, Jan, come on, time, get, Jan, get, get real, Jan, get real. I can't explain. If you shut up, Jan, I think this, year. I think this interview is coming to an end. Someday, when you shut up and you want to talk about something, let's talk about well, it. Thank you. Well, no, stop. We're done. Let's talk get about out of here. Let's just, no, let's, let's just change the subject. I, I, we got to talk about something. Yeah, listen, you get the fuck out of here. I'll throw you out the window. Oh.